Hello everyone, welcome back to my English class. Today's lesson is about should, shouldn't have plus past participle. Let's get started. The use of should, shouldn't have plus verb 3 or past participle. We use should have plus past participle or shouldn't have plus past participle to talk about things we regret. For example, I was completely wet when I got home yesterday. I should have taken a raincoat. So let's focus here. I should have taken a raincoat. We can see should plus have plus taken, which is the verb three of take. Yes, I regret not taking my raincoat with me. Yes, I regret that I did not take the raincoat. Let's look at the difference between should have and shouldn't have. You should have plus past participle when you mean something in the past was a good idea, but you didn't do it. You shouldn't have plus past participle when you mean something in the past wasn't a good idea, was not a good idea, but you did it anyway. Remember. It was a good idea, but you didn't do it. It wasn't a good idea, but you did it. Let's look at the examples. I didn't pass the math test. I should have studied harder. John was late to join the class. He should have come earlier. Studying harder was a good idea, right? Studying hard was... A good idea but I didn't do it so I didn't pass the math test John was late to join the class he should have come earlier yeah coming earlier to class was a good idea but John didn't do it so he was late to join the class these examples I didn't pass the English test I shouldn't have missed the classes John was late to join the class. He shouldn't have stayed up. Missing the classes wasn't a good idea. Missing the classes was not a good idea. Because of missing the classes, I didn't pass the English test. John was late to join the class. He shouldn't have stayed up. Yes, staying up late wasn't a good idea. But John did that. So? He was late to join the class. So this regret, this regret. Okay, after learning the use of should have plus shouldn't have, now let's work on exercise one. Complete the sentences. You should have or shouldn't have plus past participles. My friends were lost in London. They take a map. So, what is the answer here? Okay, the answer is... They should have taken a map. Yeah, they did, they did not take a map with them. And then, they were lost. Look at the formula here. We have take. It should be changed into taken. The verb three of take. And we have should have. Number two. John is in prison. He robbed a bank. Okay, the answer here is he shouldn't have robbed a bank. But John robbed a bank. He did that. So the police captured him and he's in prison now. Okay, we have five examples here. I mean five sentences. You can work on these five sentences and post your answers in the comment section. And we can discuss them together. Exercise 2. We have two multiple choice questions here. We have five options. Number 1. I didn't wake up early yesterday. I was late to school. I? Okay, so the answer here is? Yes, the answer is D. I should have woken up early. Yeah, we have should wait, should have. And we have woken up. Yeah, this is verb 3 
of way. Okay, so this is the correct answer. I didn't wake up, so I was late to school. Number two, Bang Bang lied to his friend. He? Yes, I think this is very clear that the answer is A. Shouldn't have lied. Shouldn't have plus verb 3. Exercise 3. Direction. Write down two regrets you have about things you've or you haven't done. For example, I played Mobile Legend until midnight. I forgot my homework. Yeah, I think playing Mobile Legend until midnight wasn't wasn't a good idea, it was a bad idea. Yeah, because of playing, I forgot my homework. And I regret that. And I say, I shouldn't have played Mobile Legend until midnight. Well, this is the example. I hope you understand how to use should have plus shouldn't have plus past participle in a sentence. Okay, thank you for your attention. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.